Mhm. Today I'm going to show you all how to make a basic pasta dish. Now I'm going to do the pasta in some tomato sauce. The tomato sauce will come later. But right now the focus is really on the pasta and how to cook it. Now you might be thinking, I make pasta a million times in my life. Why do I need to watch a video showing somebody how to make pasta? The thing is, a lot of people tend to overcook their pasta and that happens more than likely because they're not following a few key things that you need to follow to make sure that your pasta is not overcooked and you get perfectly cooked pasta every single time. So today I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to achieve this. Now I'm using penny, as you can see here, but it really doesn't matter what type of pasta you use, whether it's spaghetti, fettuccine, linguine, macaroni, elbows, angel hair, it really don't matter. What type of pasta you use, if you follow these steps that I'm going to show you, you will get perfect pasta every single time. So let me get started. So the first thing we need to ensure is that our water is at the correct temperature. And this doesn't require a thermometer or anything like that. You just need to make sure that your water is at a rolling boil. So that is, you know, you're seeing the water doing like we're doing here, rolling, not just a gentle simmer with like some small bubbles and a little steam. Nah, you want a nice, quote unquote, violent boil happening, like what you're seeing here. So that's the first thing that you need to ensure, that water at a rolling boil and that you have enough water in your pot. You don't want to have a pot like half full of water and then when you put in the pasta, it will have enough room for the pasta to move around. And that's why you would hear some people saying that you need to put um, like oil in the water so that the pasta will stick together, that is not true. As long as you have enough liquid or enough water in your pot, your pasta will not stick, it wouldn't clump up. So, water at a rolling boil, next thing you want to do is season or add salt. So you add a little pinch of salt there and that will make sure that the pasta gets uh, salted when you cook it. And then, as simple as this, just, you know, go in with your pasta. And give it a little stir. So I'm giving the pasta a little stir, just to make sure that the loose, they become loose and they do stick together. And that is it. Now, cook time for this penny is 10 minutes. So here's the thing. If you're going to cook the pasta and then use it one time, cook it for the 10 minutes, drain it, and run some cold water on it so that the cooking process stops. If you're going with your pasta straight from this into a next pot or into some sauce or something like that, cook it for the 10 minutes and then transfer to your next pot where you're gonna toss in your sauce or whatever the case may be. If you think that you're going to have a period of time between when your pasta is finished cooked and when the other things are going to be ready, I would say cook it for less than the 10 minutes. So cook it for about seven minutes and then you can actually leave it in the water and it will continue cooking. So by the time that you're ready, your pasta will be ready. If not, take it off the heat, drain it, run some cold water on it and that will stop the cooking process. If you keep the pasta in this hot water, it will continue to cook. If you just drain it and don't run cold water on it, the residual heat will continue to cook the pasta and that's how you could end up with overcooked pasta. So, I'm cooking this for 10 minutes because I'm gonna go in with my sauce one time. Let me talk a little bit about the sauce now. So for the sauce, I'm doing a real basic tomato sauce. Uh, tomatoes in season right now. So now is a good time to really experiment and, you know, get in as much tomato into your meals as possible. So I'm going in with some garlic because garlic and tomato is a real nice flick. Let's go well together. Let's go in with a couple of cloves of garlic. And I'm going to give them a rough chop because I'm going to be blending the sauce. So, I don't need to do like a fine mince on these because I'm going to end up blending it anyway. And then I'm just going to give the tomatoes out. Cut here, cut them into 
quarters. All right, to get the sauce going, we're going with some olive oil. So I'm ready to start the sauce, but my pasta almost at the point where it's ready to come off the flame. So I switched it off. It's not fully cooked yet. It's slightly undercooked, and that is good because the longer I leave it in this hot water, it's the longer it's going to cook. So that is cool. Now to start on the sauce, let's add some garlic. Now I want to go in with some tomatoes. One bay leaf. Going in with a little bit of salt. And some black pepper. And basically that is it for my tomato sauce in terms of um, what flavors are adding to it. Now you might figure that this sauce is real basic in terms of, you know, I ain't put no set of basil and that kind of thing in it. And that's only because I really want to do a sauce that showcasing the flavor of the tomato, the flavor of our local tomatoes. I don't want to mask the taste at all. I really want to bring out and complement, showcase, highlight the flavor of the local tomatoes. Tomatoes in season now, so it's a good time to enjoy them to the fullest. So if you wanted to make this dish, but didn't want to go through the hassle of making the tomato sauce from scratch, I have some good news for you. This tomato sauce, this bottle here, or a bottle similar to it, is now available and it is made by me personally, by my hands. And people have been asking me to do products for a while. So this is my very first. Now you might be asking why tomato sauce as a first product and the answer to that is simple. I always wanted, always figured that we should be doing products that seasonal, that really um, get to highlight the different crops that we have coming into season and you know getting them as fresh as possible to the consumer. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It is you know, a no-frills thing, the same ingredients that you see here, you know, the bay leaf, the garlic, olive oil, salt, black pepper, and of course, local tomatoes, um, carefully blended and made with love by me. So, if you want to pick up a bottle of this or a jar of this, head over to marketmovers.com, themarketmovers.com, and you can purchase it directly from them, exclusively from Market Movers. So, I'll show you how I'm going to use this to make a simple uh, pasta in tomato sauce or as the Italians would say, pasta pomodoro. There we go. All right, so to our hot pan, I add in some olive oil. Now I want to go in with tomato sauce. Penny cooked perfectly. Mix this up. And at this point is where you could jazz it up if you want. So if you wanted, you could add a little pepper flakes, you could go in with some fresh basil. It's up to you. Actually, let me jazz it up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of red pepper flakes. So a little spice, give this a little stir. And just finishing it off with a little bit of fresh basil. And that is it. a few basil leaves for garnish and that is it or no perfectly cooked penny tomato sauce boom easy as that and I mean it's simple steps to follow make sure your waters are rolling boil make sure you have enough water in the pot and cook it for eight to ten minutes al dente and make sure to run cold water on it after it finished cooking to arrest the cooking process or Cook it for less time, between five to, I would say, seven minutes, 
and you could leave it in the hot water while you're prepping your other things so that it doesn't overcook. And I mean, check this out. It's perfectly cooked pasta. Watch that. Day. Watch that. Cook to perfection. Not overcooked. It's not falling apart. Nothing like that. It's not mushy. Perfect bite. Perfect pasta. If you want to do this the quick and easy way, no fuss, then I would suggest heading over to themarketmovers.com and purchasing a jar of this tomato sauce. If you're not in Trinidad and unfortunately can't get your hands on it, then don't frighten. Go ahead and you can make the sauce from scratch. I will post the full recipe on eatafoodtt.com and look out for new products. I mean, I will be doing some more products as time goes by. And if you want to stay in the know and you want to know exactly when we launch new products, head over to eatafoodtt.com slash products and sign up for that newsletter. In that newsletter, I will be announcing all the new products that we come in to market with. So yeah, look out for that. It should be, you know, exciting, some exciting stuff. Of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please, please, please take a moment and go and hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we post new content. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.